हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार अ चैरिटेबल इंस्टीट्यूशन और अ रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एडहर टू द प्रोविजन ऑफ सेक्शन 11 एंड 12 ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एक्ट 1961 वाइल इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एडहर टू दीज प्रोविजन ऑफ द लॉ देर आर सर्टेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मेट्स और फॉर्म्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी फिल्ड अप बाय द ट्रस्ट विच में बी अ रिलीजियस ट्रस्ट और अ चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम सो टूडे थ्रू दिस वीडियो i am trying to put up my views on three important forms which are applicable for a charitable institution or religious institution which is registered under section 12a or new section 12ab of income tax act 1961 for the benefit of such kind of institutions so what are these three forms which i am trying to name before you one that is form 10b in this form 10b what is its nature when it is applicable what will be its due date and what will be the effect if it is not filed these are the three classifications which i'll discuss these points one by one yet i have recently made a video specifically on form 10b also which you can also refer to i'll be also discussing with you in a part from and in addition to form 10b form 9a and one more form that is form 10 so these three important forms are going to form part of today's discussion of this video so let me begin with form 10b form 10b gets the color from the applicability of the provisions of section 12a of income tax act 1961 this section 12a is very clear when it says that the provisions of section 11 and 12 can't be claimed unless certain conditions are fulfilled and one of the important conditions of claiming 11 and 12 is that that if as a charitable trust or as a religious trust your total income without considering the base without considering the exemption of section 11 and 12 exceeds the basic exemption limit which is presently 2.5 lakh rupees you are liable to get your books audited so suppose you are a trust whose income total income without considering 11 and 12 exemption limit is 7.5 lakh rupees and you are not filing form 10b then for the relevant assessment year you are not entitled to avail the exemption of section 11 and 12 whereas you may say that i have spent each and every penny whatever i received as a donation so not only spending is important filing of form 10b is very important so this is the nature of form 10b and its requirement now what is its due date say for the assessment year 22 23 for which presently itrs are being prepared even form 10b are being prepared the due date is 30th of september 2022 yet the due date of filing itr for such trust where form 10b is applicable will be 31st of october but form 10b needed to be filed by 30th of september 2022 by the competent charter accountant and same has to be accepted by the uh, relevant trust and it has to be then from the trust side accepted on its own income tax login now what will be the effect of non filing that is very dangerous as you all can now understand that okay mr bharti if it is not filed and it is applicable then for the relevant assessment year your exemption of section 11 and 12 has gone so no trust charitable or religious should indulge into a mistake of not filing form 10b at all now i come to discuss with you form 9a which is also a very important form and technically i would uh, give it a name attached to deemed application concept now what is a deemed application concept if i put it up through an example say on 30th of march 2022 a trust received 20 lakh rupees donation and in last moment when it so received it could not apply the amount immediately for charitable or religious purposes and it is not so easy to spend the money in one single day because your financial year was closing on 31st of march 2022 so trust thinks that okay we received it but we will apply it probably in the next year so here if the trust is able to fill up this form 9a this is an example only of deemed application one example there can be one more example i am putting up one example here that okay if the trust fills up form 9a then for the financial year 21 22 or assessment year 22 23 this 20 lakh rupees will be deemed to be applied for public charitable public religious purposes 
assuming that that in the next financial year 22-23 that is assessment year 23-24 this amount is duly applied for public charitable public religious purposes by the trust so if a trust is wishing to avail the benefit in such a fashion then it has to apply online in form 9a so when this particular form is applicable this form 9a is applicable when you are interested in claiming deemed application what is its due date due date is of filing itr under section 1391 that is say for assessment year 22 23 it is going to be 31st of october 2022 and here i assume that the trust is liable to get its books audited now what is the effect of non filing if you are liable and or you, i can't say that you are liable because 9a is optional but suppose if you thought of that okay i should apply for 9a i should apply for deemed application but you are not doing so then you are left nowhere in terms of claiming this option of deemed application however for non filing of form 9a there is no penalty as such because as i said that this is optional a trust may may not avail so please understand form 10b was not optional but form 9a is optional trust has to opt for whether it opt for or not it is its call but if it if it opt for then it will be entitled to avail the benefit of this deemed application concept now as compared to form 9a form 10 is a form which is based on the concept of accumulation so now the term accumulation means that the trust is not able to spend the money say for an example a trust receive 100 lakh rupees donation out of which 15 lakh rupees is free accumulated that is the trust may use it for uh, its uh, further accumulations where the department is not asking the purpose and all 85 lakh is left 45 lakh is already spent the remaining 40 could not be spent now suppose trust thinks of that okay let's accumulate this 40 lakh rupees into a fd for next 4 5 year and when we will use this particular amount for creating a specific building or an orphanage or a particular uh, center for rehabilitation etc so here comes the concept of accumulation that okay you want to accumulate the amount for a specific purpose so when it is applicable when the trust thinks of thinks of that we have a purpose for which we want to accumulate what is the period of accumulation maximum period of 5 year next 5 year so say in financial year 21 22 you receive the sum you are not able to apply in 21 22 you are thinking of accumulation so after 21 22 you get next 5 year to spend this money this is called the concept of accumulation now what is the due date of this form 10 filing because if you are interested in claiming the accumulation benefit then you have to ensure that form 10 is filed on or before 139 one due date that is for assessment year 22 23 again going to be 31st of october 2022 and what is the effect of non filing merely you treating as if i have accumulated would not be sufficient as a charitable or religious trust if you are not filing then there will not be any benefit of accumulation provided to you so filing such form online is very important i must repeat may be form 10b may be form 9a or may be form 10 all must be filed online so if you are not filing them online again there is no benefit of merely thinking as if i'm going to avail this claim no you have to ensure that your form 9a or your form 10 is duly uploaded online for claiming the benefit of deemed application or accumulation as the case may be and form 10b is a must without that you will not be entitled to claim the benefit of section 11 and 12 at all so at the end my dear friends i hope you find this particular video useful to you and if you have any queries on the concept of form 10b 9a or 10 you can write to me i'll try to give answer to them thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai hind